Hey folks, Darren from Dean Auto Sales. Got a video I want to do uh, on our 88 Ford Sportsmobile that is up for sale. Uh, we'll do a quick lap around it, check it out inside and out. Just kind of give you the quick rundown on it. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's uh, it's pop top, obviously. It's got the top that pops up, so pop top. Plenty of room to stand up in there. Uh, it is the E250, so eight lug wheels, heavy duty suspension. Uh, low rated E tires, uh, uh, little tires are new on it. The body's incredibly straight, incredibly clean. Uh, came out of Texas originally. Got the awning on it. Take the peek in the front here a second. Tan, brown, kind of, you know, boring, comma. Vintage colors inside there. There's your. Uh, so that's a vent for the water heater. City water connection there. That's where you fill your water tank up. So a Sportsmobile is, uh, they don't have quite all the amenities that a full RV has. It doesn't have a shower. It doesn't have um, a toilet in it. It does have running water and, and furnace and that kind of stuff. Uh, but the Sportsmobile is kind of a, um, kind of a, hey, sort of tent camp and sort of RV at the same time attitude. Back here, got the air conditioning hanging out the back window. Out back here a second. There we go. It's actually in a really nice shape. Got some storage underneath here. There's a storage spot there as well. Another one underneath there. This obviously folds down to a bed. What uh, what Sportsman does is kind of cool too is um, they make little indentations back in here so that's a little bit deeper so you can have a full six foot little or six foot sleeping area in the bed here um, so that's kind of a kind of a cool feature that they do not, not many other people not many other van manufacturers do that so there's that d and auto sales right there look at that america america right there Step back a little bit. This side got dual tanks on these uh, these vintage uh, Ford vans. Anything from 91 and older have dual front gas tanks. So one there, one there. And then that's your plug to plug it into shore power. Propane tank door right there. Check it out. Uh, 130,000 miles on this, 36 I think it is if I remember right. Good old crank windows, little smoker vent windows, does have tilt wheel, cruise control, air conditioning. Uh, nice new stereo, got the sports wheel book as well. It's also got the old school GPS right there, look at that. Even a CB radio. Yeah. It's got it all. I mean, what, what more could you want? Let's uh, hop inside a second. Take a look in here. Check out the amenities, the room, the glamour. Actually, it's, it's in great shape. It really is. Look at the door panels on this thing. So this right here. There's a little extension for the counter and then storage back in there as well. And it's also got like some storage down there too. So as you walk in, there's the refrigerator, uh, microwave, stove. So propane stove. Um, again, there's no bathroom in here. There is a a spot for a porta potty. It's got a new porta potty in it. Right there. Plenty of cupboard space. Plenty of drawers over here. So, this area up here, what I don't have shown are the cushions. Make sure that doesn't fall. So, up in this area, there's cushions that go with this that store up in here and they sit right here. Um, and it's uh, it's two two foot two, uh, three two footers and one one footer, and so it makes a seven foot bed that goes up in here, and then you can spread them out 
pull the top down when you're done. And they store up here. If you don't need to take them with them, you don't need to take them. But if you got kids, it makes, it makes a pretty big bed up here. Uh, and then these, so another cupboard here. So the, we had uh, uh, Bruce built all this whole area. This wasn't, uh, there was nothing here when we got this. So Bruce built that all up. Looks great. So yeah, uh, new LED lights in here all over the place. Um, like I said, great shape, runs and drives excellent. So 351 Windsor uh, fuel injected V8 non-overdrive transmission. Um, uh, let's see, anything else? Yeah, 130,000 miles on it. Good rust-free Southern Texas truck. Um, it's on our website for sale and I uh, just want to do a YouTube on it. So you guys have a good day. See ya.